Hey, this is Jay Adams. And if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. It's free. Listen, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Come on and join the Anchor team. <laughs> What's good, bro? Bro, why you laughing, my nigga? Cuz, <laughs> man, you, 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 man. What? Nothing, man. <laughs> nah, my nigga, tell everybody why you laughing. I don't give a so damn funny. Cuz, man, you have an awesome mic. Like, I didn't know that made people laugh. That made me laugh. You got a weird sense of humor, buddy. Man, and you just figuring it out? You been knowing me this long? And you just figuring it out? <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, whatever, nigga. <laughs> He's starting already, y'all. We just getting started. Looking one at them. What's good, though, y'all? This episode nine <laughs> of 80s, 90s, styles of the podcast. Yeah, there Yes, indeed, man. We almost 10 episodes in. What's good, though, bro? How you feeling? Bro, I tell you, I mess up the count every week. I thought this was number 10. I could have sworn we did number nine already. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, man, I'm good, bro. Over here finishing homework. Just got a midterm out the way last week and a, a case study. So I'm relieved, man. I got that stress out of my life. How do you business, man? You already know. Yeah, sir. How you been, though, dog? Man, you already know. Frustrated. <laughs> God damn, man. Any, any, any day around people is frustrating. But hey, you know, <laughs> I ain't, it, it ain't my decision. I ain't put I ain't put them here. So it's all good, <laughs> though. You know? <laughs> like, I ain't put them here. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah, but though, what's the, <laughs> what are we talking about this week, bro? Man, um, I know y'all have. Well, I hope y'all have seen it by now. But coming to America, too, uh, just recently came out on Amazon Prime, uh, Amazon TV. I don't know what the hell it's called, but it just came out, y'all. And uh, we had already talked previously on a, uh, on our reboot reboot episode. If I haven't seen that, uh, make sure y'all go check that out. It was real fun. Um, but we had already mentioned in that episode this movie and how we felt about it and now we got a chance to actually see it uh, spoiler alert if you have not seen it go watch it first and then come listen to us no, if you ain't seen it oh well Cause we, we, we about to talk about it guys. I, I, I've seen it twice now you know what I, I'm saying <laughs> just know I have not seen it twice <laughs> I yeah, have but- not and like we always try to tell y'all, man, this is our personal opinions. Facts, ain't no, facts. Fa- ain't no need to get any feels about it. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So, we're not saying we experts or nothing like that. Just, just tell me how before, we feel about the movie. Okay, before you get into Coming to America 2, just give me a slight uh, summary of what Coming to America 1 did for you when you first seen that movie. Man, honestly, bro, it, it just... It's going to sound like like playing. It just made me laugh, bro. It was just like, a, a Eddie, solid, funny movie. Right. It seemed like Eddie th- anything Eddie did back then was gold, bro. From, from yeah. the 80s to the 90s. Eddie, all this movie was gold. Fact. And he, he was the first person I saw to do all those those multiple characters. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that was first for me. That's the first person I saw. He probably is the first person. I'm, y'all check fact me on that. He probably is the first person to do that. But that was, as a kid, that was funny and unique to me. That was you know dope as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how you feel about that? Uh, about the first one, man? Yeah, I thought it was, like, legit funny. Like, it was just seeing, and I'm not saying that uh, when people from Africa are that naive when they come to America, but just seeing that, it was just hilarious to me. Like, stuff that we, that we seen all the time and was regular when he came to America, at least when the character came to America, it's like everything was just, like, a brand new world for him. And uh, I think that's what made the movie so funny. Uh, and then going from a, a prince to ha- trying to be a regular person working at um the knockoff McDonald's, McDonald's. yeah, <laughs> McDonald's, uh, McDonald's. But you know, working over there, I, uh, the first one just man, like you said, it was comedic gold, bro. The first yeah, one was, was. was fire. Um, 
<laughs> and the, the first one, but see, the first one was rated R too. Yeah, because they showed titties and all that now. Yeah, yeah. This one was PG-13, so yeah, I mean, that played a big part in it. Definitely, because it limited what they could do um, in the movie. And I'm not saying I even needed to see a bunch of titties. I didn't need to see that. But <laughs> they're still, <laughs> they're still uh, to me, what uh, you I see. Know you. Huh? No, go ahead. <laughs> I was say, when you see that PG-13, to me, it already sets you up for knowing that uh, you could, you, you know, they're gonna be as a uh, raunchy, raunchy, however you say the damn word. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's gonna be as raw, yeah, yeah, raunchy, simple yeah. as that. We'll, we'll say raw as yeah. the first one. Can you see PG 13? PG 13, you know, it's damn near for everybody, so you already know this damn near a uh, Disney show at that point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but uh, man, I, I'm gonna start off with good. Let's start off with good. All right. Yeah, because um, yeah, I ain't about to just kill the movie. Honestly, before I get to any details of the movie, I'll just say how I felt. Um, I, I like the movie for what it was. Like taking Come to America 1 out of the picture. As if, if the first one never existed and I just seen this coming to America. I enjoyed right. it for what it was. But I do think that PG-13 crap played a major part in it because it seemed like a family comedy movie, something you can watch with your kids and all that, which is cool, but the first one was made for grown folk, even though I watched it as a kid, but it was, it was <laughs> hey, we, we all did, yeah, yeah. You know? but it wasn't made for us, but we just enjoyed yeah. it, but this one I feel like was made more for kids, it's kind of like when you compare the old Disney Channel to the Disney Channel we got today, it just, it, it's levels, man, it's, it gets a little corny. Um, a lot. It gets a lot of coin. Yeah, yeah. But you, being, um, you over there being modest and whatnot. Because I, because I don't want to bash the movie. I did like the movie for what it was, but it's one of the movies that I enjoyed. But I would never watch twice unless it was already on. Like I wouldn't go back and just like, ooh, I want to watch Come to America too. No. Right. But if it was on, I ain't gonna turn it. I would be like, hell no, get this off my TV. Now it wasn't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But it it, it was okay, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, see, and, and, and like, I, I like I, the only reason why I watched it twice is to be like, man, you know what? Maybe I need to watch it twice. Maybe I can. Maybe you was like, tripping you know or something. Saying? Yeah. Right, right, and and I still felt the same. And you, it, like you, you, said, you were going kind of hard on Facebook, my dog. What? What I said? There's a couple of remarks you made. I feel like it was. I feel like it was like uh, slick dissing. You know what I'm saying? I I couldn't tell if you were just quoting the movie or if you was clowning the movie. Oh, you talking about? You talking about? Oh, I'm going to die. I'm now. going to die now. That was corny, bro. <laughs> that was corny, bro. For y'all who that haven't seen the corny. movie, once again, spoiler alert. But uh, in the movie, if you guys recall, the movie just came out, so y'all shouldn't have forgotten nothing. But there's a scene in the movie. Where the, the daddy is dying. So first of all, my boy, uh, he's alive at his funeral at his own. Funeral. Yeah, and, and which, okay, I was cool with that. Come out, okay. In the first movie, he did seem real control. He wanted stuff to be done his way. And sometimes people are like, yeah, like you know what? I want to enjoy my own funeral. Cool. I was okay with that. It was weird, but it's like okay, that that still fits his character. But for that nigga right. to say, I'm going to die now, and then that nigga just went to sleep. Like, come on, son, we still seeing you breathing, my nigga. You ain't dead. Come on, man. Yeah, that, that, that point, that, that, that point, I was like, nigga, huh? Like, yeah, that, that I ain't gonna fake. That was corny as hell. That was it, it was very corny. But bro. it was supposed to be funny, but it just, it, it didn't resonate, bro. Like, because, man, it's kind of like how with the Fridays, how the first one was the most authentic. It was funny, but it seemed like real life. But as the Fridays went along, it got a little bit more outrageous, which I still enjoy all three Fridays. Don't get me wrong. Right, right. But you right. could tell they was trying harder and harder to make more jokes. And I felt like that's what they did with this one. Like they wanted every line to be funny, and that wasn't the case. <laughs> it wasn't the case at all, dog. Cause that scene right yeah. there, it wasn't it. That legit, that legit pissed me off. Yeah, and I like, I was, and I could just tell they wanted that to be so funny. Why? There wasn't was nothing. Okay, and I understand that they brought maybe they brought salt and pepper and, and, uh, and what is it in Vogue? Yeah, uh, Gladys Knight. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like. And like I said, that was already uh, uh, concerning to me when I see all these big names and all these people in this movie. It's like, bro, y'all putting way too many people. That may feel like y'all trying and to compensate movie, for something. Was the movie even two hours long? Bro, I think it was like an hour and 49 minutes. Yeah, it didn't feel like two hours. And I feel, like, like I feel like that's what hurt it because they were trying to 
like I said, on the storyline. Like I said, I, it wasn't a bad movie, but it was too – on the first Come to America, the movie was focused on Prince Hakeem. Wasn't it Hakeem? Hakeem. Hakeem. One of them got there. The Prince. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, yeah. It was focused on him trying to find love. He wanted to find real love, not that forced, arranged marriage crap. Cool. So it really was focused on him. Arsenio Hall was showed a lot because he was always with Eddie Murphy in the movie. And then, of course, it's going to put a, a big shine on the woman he's trying to go after. But the spotlight was still on Eddie Murphy because he was a nigga going after. So it was focused on him. This one, right. it's like they tried to put shine on Eddie Murphy. They tried to put shine on the son. They tried to put shine on the oldest daughter, which he had three other daughters. They tried to put shine on Arsenio. They tried to put shine on Wesley Snipes. It's like it's too Everybody. many people y'all trying to share the camera with for a movie that's only an hour and 49 minutes long. Bro, I, I, I was, bro, it's, it's, like I said, man, I, I'm just telling, I'm just keeping it real how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was a parody of the first one. You, and, and to me, the only people who are good at making parodies, in my honest, in my humble opinion, is the Wayne Brothers. That's it. And oh, so if you want to count Saturday Night Live, but I'm that's, okay. about, yeah, like, that's not a movie, yeah. Yeah, right. Like, I'm talking about parody movies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wayne Brothers, they, they, they got that on lock. Right. But and he, then after, they stopped doing scary movie after the third yeah, one. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they didn't do the third one. They did the first and second. And that's how you know it went. But the third was, one was decent. But after yeah, the third one, it went and down. And he, yeah. said that, he, said, he said they tricked people in thinking we done the third one because the third one was good. Yeah. But after that, you know what I'm shit, I, think, I, I think the fourth one. Now I watched the fifth one. Ain't it like six? I lost, I lost track out the four, bro. If there's five, then I've watched four. If there's six, I watched five. I know I watched all of them except for that very last one. Um, right, right. But yeah, but but the problem is that this wasn't supposed to be a parody. Exactly. But it seemed like yeah, they had so many lines that they were uh, recycling. It's like the the it's like they tried to remake those classic moments of the first one. But it's like no, we don't make make new you know, classic moments. <laughs> It's not. It's not eighty eight. Yeah, it's it's, not, it's like I love that for what it was on the first one. I don't yeah. need it to be on the second one. It's not gonna hit the same. Like I don't need it. And you know, I will say this. I was okay with the um the ending whenever they did the um the whole do you want to go back to Queens crap and it was like nah the same way they did on the first one. I could appreciate that one, but as for the rest of them, because there was so many that they recycled. As for the rest of them, I could have did without it. It's like we ain't need that, bro. Like I said, my oh, thing is yeah. make you make make new classic moments, bro. Like I, I honestly like the like the move like the first one is such a classic, bro. I would have been good with them not making a sequel. I, I I'm I'm just bro. Certain certain movies I'm sensitive towards, bro. Yeah, and, and coming to America is one of them because it's such a classic. So if they would have never made a second one, I would have been good with bro, it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, yeah. I, I can watch the first one over and over, bro. But it's been so long. It's like, even if the people who did want another one, right, initially, by this time, they didn't want it now. It's like, if we wanted it, we wanted it back then when y'all were still young. And I'm, and I'm not saying they were too old, but at least if they was young, they could have just focused on their storyline again. You didn't have to bring this son out of nowhere or whatever. And another big point. So, so basically, so basically, you saying if they would done a sequel. The first one came out in eighty eight. If they would done a sequel like in ninety three, I would have been okay with like or something like that. Especially because yeah. first of all, the second one's called Come to America too, and they was only in America for like a scene, and then they're back in Zamunda, <laughs> which is already messed up. Should have right. just said called the coming. I mean, uh, staying in Zamunda because that's where y'all was the whole damn time. <laughs> like, but they would came out with a second one before showing her adapt to his country. I think that probably would have been funny as hell. If they would have done it back yeah, then, everybody, when Eddie was, everybody was a lot yeah, younger. and when Eddie was still on that same type of comedy, Eddie isn't the same comedian. He's not. Right. Everybody, not gonna say everybody, but a lot of people they they begin to turn a little bit more commercial, especially once more PC. yeah once they become more established because your name is so big, he can't be as raw as he used to be. And I'm not saying he can't because he can't. Dave Chappelle's already proven that he's raw as hell, but Dave Chappelle has always been on the more raw side of comedy. Eddie Murphy had already made that shift when he started doing the the daddy daycare, the uh um what other movies just kind of just even Dr. Doolittle, you know, I love Dr. Doolittle's. That was more on the family comedy side of everything. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't as raw as Coming to America, Harlem Nights, 
Um, even another professor, you know, it, it had its raw moment. Actually, that whole movie, that movie was hilarious. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? During that time, he was a different comedian. So my thing is, don't bring back uh, one of your classes. If anything, nigga, you should have brought back. I would have been okay if you would have did another uh, a new nutty professor. I'd been okay with that. I think he. It makes it makes more sense because none professor really don't have no no deep story at all behind it. You could bring him back as many times as you want. You know right. what I'm saying? And then you already be having a fat suit on anyway, so you wouldn't even see your age. Really, you can still make yourself look the way you did before because it's a damn yeah, fat suit bro. regardless. But yeah, none professor you could have brought back. It would have been cool. It probably still would have been hilarious him playing unless he killed the grandma. He killed the grandma off. I don't want to see that damn movie. Yeah, that's that's yeah, my favorite. You gotta cast. have her, but. <laughs> Like I would be okay. He brought something like that back because even with another professor, we love that movie. Yes, but that's not that's not one of them black classics. You know what I'm saying? To me, yeah, yeah. I know me and you had talked before, and you brought up Harlem Nights, but even Harlem Nights to me, those movies they shouldn't be messed with. But like, but like I told you, I feel like uh, Harlem Nights too would have made more sense. I'm not saying that it should have happened, but if I had to choose, I would have made a Harlem Nights too before I made a Coming to America too, bro. That's just me. Because, like I said, coming to America, Harlem Night is precious to black people, yeah. too. But coming to America is very precious to black people. But to me, you know coming to saying? America could have been fine if they would have uh, just eliminated some of those characters. Like, we, we didn't need, even though I ain't going to lie, Wesley Snipes was probably my second favorite character in the second movie. But we didn't need him because if you would have just focused yeah. on put the storyline on the sun. Cause that's what the damn thing. That's what y'all advertised about him having a son. He didn't know about advertise like focus on him and Eddie's relationship or whatever. Cause honestly, another thing that that bothered me is okay. Like I said, the first movie it was all about him finding his true love, uh, Lisa McDowell, whatever their last name. It was their last name, right? McDowell. Yeah. Yeah. So throughout the whole movie, he's talking to her. You're seeing time pass, so he's working his way to earn her love. In the second movie. This nigga talked to this the damn hairdresser twice, and all of a sudden y'all getting married. You don't even know. Yeah, he caught yeah, it's, oh, it's like, bro, Y'all don't even know he got damn children because they didn't focus enough on that on that part of the storyline to show any development between them. Really, obviously we seen they they flirted a little bit, but that didn't show no development between the two for these niggas to be running off to America to get married. And I feel I feel like he had too many daughters. Yeah, I feel bro. like three. I feel like he could have just had like two. And I understand the two you know what I'm because I, 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 if I recall correctly, one of them is his real daughter. Well, so yeah, the, the, the middle. Yeah, the so the of course you want to put her in the movie, give her a little her first uh, shot on the camera. But honestly, the only daughter he should have had was the oldest one because it made sense. Because you have a daughter yeah. ready to take the throne, even though it was still illegal for the woman to run the kingdom. So I don't understand how that was even in their mind when they had never changed the law in the first damn place. But anyway, she's ready to take the throne just to find out you're about to give it to this son who don't know nothing about this country. That storyline made sense. It made sense. But when you add all these other kids and everything else, it's like, okay. The camera's moving too much. They can't even focus on the main character because it's goddamn eighty y'all. Well, well, p- p- people, man, like I think Charlemagne. I knew he, you know he was gonna say how he. Felt. I didn't hear his. He he, nah. He said the son. He like it was, it was like a parody, bro. And he said that part when the, when the father died, that, that was corny. Cool yeah. And because it was, but like you said, people don't want to. Like we live in a weird culture bro a weird generation i ain't gonna say generation we live in a weird world right now where you can't have your own opinion on stuff uh-uh. like it, it's a it's like 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 we said this before this just cancel culture bro if you say something that they don't agree with they gotta they cancel you and, like that's very unhealthy and then even with that bro we're also in a culture where people hate on stuff just to hate on it so it's kind of hard to know when people are really giving their true opinion because bro uh Complete off subject, and I'm gonna keep it simple. But whenever uh, Toy Story 4 came out, um, yes, I, I have a daughter, I watch kid movies, and I was gonna watch it even if I didn't have any kids, any goddamn way. Um, people was killing Toy Story, <laughs> it was killing Toy Story 4. Even seen yeah, it. it's like, bro, that really was a legit good movie. It's like, yeah. I feel like people, because it was so gassed, people just wanted to say that it wasn't good, and it's like, come on, man. So I feel like some people, I mean, look, go ahead, I'm listening. The, the Fast and the Furious movies gas. 
Uh, yeah, but, but they went too far though. It's too many of them, and they and they yeah, it, and it they still it not really done. Is. They still not done. And and honestly, yeah, with the I, I like the uh, the Fast and Furious. I like all of them, but it's just at a certain point, they none of them are realistic anymore. It's like, come on, y'all, y'all doing too much. I like them. I like them just because I like I how like much, car how, tricks how, and fighting, but they're not realistic anymore. How much how how much can you run, bro? Fact, because you know y'all been running since what the third movie, four. Like y'all just yeah. been running and running and running. It's like goddamn. Like yeah, of course y'all gonna be the most wanted people on earth. Every time in each movie, y'all com- y'all commit new crimes. That's all y'all <laughs> niggas do is commit crime at the crime. That's fact. Y'all done turned a goddamn but FBI like, agent yeah, to criminal. Bro. Like, like, yeah, we don't mean to keep y'all off subject, but like, you remember, like, for for some reason, people are randomly uh canceling Pepe. Le Pew. Bro, I just, I you, just read that, that. What yesterday for that? I just read like, oh my gosh, bro! Like, who who's sitting around thinking? Who's sitting around thinking to cancel Pepe, Le, Pepe bro. Le Pew and Mr. Potato nah, Head, bro? The Mr. Potato Head was real stupid. I, I guess I get the Pepe Le Pew. I don't get it because I do, I never watched that and never thought about that. You know, I've never thought that. I I mean I have because I used to watch Looney. So you used to think what you think he was a rapist? That didn't cross my mind when I was. That's what I'm saying. Like I never thought uh, like, oh this nigga's racing. I just thought it was funny. I thought this nigga was Uh, trying to get with something that people want to get back with him. He didn't he didn't realize that it was a cat. It wasn't a damn skunk. skunk. So I never saw it in like, okay, this nigga is uh this nigga's tripping. But um but yeah, that that was just ridiculous, man. That that's ridiculous. What? He ain't gonna be in the next space, well, yeah, yeah. bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. But like, but look, bro. Is it a way? Can we cancel the cancel culture? Is that possible? Uh, I mean, I guess. But at the same time, it's like, do we really take the cancel culture seriously? Because because shoot, we cancel the cancel culture, then we're just as retarded as all the rest of them. And I'm not saying because some some yeah, people deserve to be canceled. But it's like the people that the people that deserve yeah. to be canceled yeah. are not being canceled. Cause even okay, to go back yeah. and real simple, where R. Kelly, yeah, we say we canceled him, but everybody still listens to his music, everybody still show love for R. Kelly. You still got women sending him money. You have people standing outside talking about free R. Kelly and all that. Cancel c- culture is the most ridiculous thing ever. The most ridiculous thing. Yeah, people is. cancel who they want. The only people who really get canceled is people that they didn't really care about in the first place. Yeah. Man, is that your chair? This right here? That? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Man, that's... Hey, y'all, that's his loud ass shit. No, look, guys, that's just my loud mic. So here, you hear everything. Yeah, you ain't lying. That's an awesome... I keep telling you, that's an awesome mic. Thanks, man. I got it for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, man, shut up, man. (laughs) Well, yeah, y'all, um... Coming to America, coming to America too. I give it out of. I'm gonna go scale one to ten. I give it like a. In my opinion, I give it like a five. That, that, bro, that's exactly uh, I six. Give, I, I give it I like give a, a five point five. Yeah, bro. When we just being honest, we telling you how we feel. No, about I'll give it a six. I'll give it a strong six. I, yeah, I'm saying I yeah. give it a six because it's a little bit, it's a little bit you better than all right. So. I, I, I tried to I, I tried to watch it twice. I couldn't get through it fully the second time because I'm like, um, you know, what I'm saying it, it, it's. I didn't need yeah. it, you know. I was excited at first when I when I saw the screenshots. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I'm like, do we really need this? I'm scared about this. Like, it's just that's such a classic, bro. It's a and and uh, it's not that we I'm against sequels. I, I like them if they make sense and done yeah. right. Like I, I feel like Bad Boys for Life is probably the best sequel in that, a long time. To me, time. yeah, that's definitely one of the best ones. And obviously, it hasn't, it doesn't have as big a gap as Coming to America One and Two did. But it, whenever no, you do no. have those years in between, to me, it's hard when people bring them back for them to still be good. And to have that space between um, Bad Boys Two and that one. They still they did phenomenal. Like that's that's honestly, I would watch that one before I watch the other two, and I love all of them. Yeah, Man, I, I watch like, them first, right? But, yeah, all, all three yeah. of them are good, but that like because honestly, how bro, good in the first is. two, it's like okay, this is Will and Martin. We know they're not gonna die, but in that last one, it's like. I don't know. One of y'all niggas oh, might die in this movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like one of y'all yeah. niggas might get knocked yeah. out. Like. 
it, it was good. It was good. And, and the, the new Halloween? The, 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 I heard it was. was I didn't watch it. I'm not really a scary movie person, but I did. I did it. And I, I love. Yeah. I, love I heard it was good movies, though, man. I heard it was good. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, the, so they, it's possible. That's just an example. It's possible it can yeah. be done right. You know what I'm saying? But this just felt like a cash grab. Bro. Definitely, because like, bro, they didn't, like they made the movie and it sold it for what I think like a hundred million dollars. They got rid of it. It's like cool, we made it, got our money, got rid of it. Because to me, if if it was something that they truly cared about, I feel like they would have been the ones to push it themselves. But hell no, they sold it. They got rid of that. And my thing was this, bro. If if you don't want to do something, don't do it. They said for years. Arsenio Hall said in plenty of time that him and Eddie said they would never make a sequel. They didn't want to make a sequel. So why the hell did y'all make one? I get, I, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess it's pan, this pandemic been like when people, when you, when you went in jail, with somebody in jail. And, what? And you, Bro, what are you talking about? You start thinking of like, oh, man, I, you know what I'm saying? When I get out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Bro, I guess the, iso- the isolation have you thinking like man you know what i'm saying and like i said we still we we was in the house for a while bro like i like uh quarantine yeah. and stuff like this so i guess i understand giving somebody something to get excited yeah, for I, now. and it worked people I get were very it. excited about it no matter what you like no matter if you like you know it or not you were excited that it came out even if you were scared excited kind of me and you we were talking about we were kind of scared about it because we didn't want to ruin the legacy yeah. but when it came out what the hell we did we all went watch it and you know what I'm saying? And that's why I say I think it definitely was a money grab because I don't think it was because Amazon didn't buy this movie from them to be like, oh, this could be the best movie. Like, no, they just knew for a fact, smart, that everyone was going to come watch it. And if you wasn't subscribed to yeah. Amazon or whatever, you did for it this was. movie. So it was that. Yeah. Even if you yeah, cancel, so they, they spent that one hundred million, but I'm pretty sure they've made it back because, like you just said, you tried to watch it twice. You still clicked on it twice. There's probably plenty of people who went back to watch the movie just to make sure they wasn't tripping. Uh, and they got somebody who just really enjoyed the movie. And like I said, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't right. great either. Uh, I had I had some some girl comment and told me, "Man, I'm watching second time. I'm watching it for a third time tonight." Oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. You like, you like. You so let me this. Tell me your favorite part of the second one and uh, your least favorite. My favorite part is when, like, when what's his name, Michael Blackson. Yeah. Like, like when Arsenio, know when I said Arsenio, uh, when Wesley Snipes, when they when he yeah. introduced Wesley Snipes, I, this, and uh, that was my favorite part because I feel like Wesley. What's the superstar? And my least favorite part was when he's like, "I'm going to die now." <laughs> so, like, bro, that, that I was like, I, I I paused the movie, bro. I was like, like what, what, what the hell am I watching? Like, dog, yeah, that was not it, good. It you know what I'm saying? It wasn't. Like, dog, but yeah, what the Wesley, the Wesley Snipes, uh, uh, getting introduced by Michael Blackson. That was my favorite part. Oh, yeah. my favorite uh, part. And, and anything, any scene, what's the name was in? Let's, nah, let's nah, that, you can't do that. Cause that's that's half. That, that's a good chunk of the movie. I I sent you one part, nigga, one part. You chose Wesley. That's it. Uh, I would have to say my favorite part of the movie. I think my the part that I actually laughed on is when uh, Lisa McDowell and Leslie had got drunk. At, at the uh, celebration, oh, and the way she was acting, it was I, that's the only part I like legit laughed on because she was drunk as hell. She was talking reckless. It's like she was happy to be with another American woman. Yeah, you know, from, from her city. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think it's my favorite part. Now, that, if I'm thinking on, I think it's my favorite part. Um, the part that I really did not care for, uh, and it was a couple parts, but I did not like the lion part. Uh. When they yeah, like the come on, bro. That line don't damn about no cat food, bro. Yeah, yeah nigga, he don't you damn about no cat food. Bro, that uh, not a, that, that bro, was it was corny bro, too, bro. So I corny. Say that. And it's like, bro, that line would have had you. If anything, he would have ate you and then had he probably had the cat food as an appetizer and then finished with you as the main quote. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> that damn line was about that cat food. <laughs> and then to me, I just didn't like the fact. Oh, another thing. It's not my worst. It's not the worst scene, 
because it's not a scene, but I did not like the way they depicted his char character as far as like they made him sound scary. Like he was like they made him seem like he was scared of Wesley Snipes' character. And in the first damn movie, man, Eddie Murphy character, he didn't give a damn about no man, he whooping anything. He wasn't worried about nobody. And this movie they made him yeah. seem scary. Yeah, they made they like, he was so scared of other weak. people. It's like, bro, come on, man. Come on, we can go to war. I ain't worried about none of that. But they made that nigga seem so scary. I ain't like that. Man. Bro, the coming to it, it's it's I don't know, son. Like I, I like I and y'all, we really wanted to like yeah, want this yeah. movie to be good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we we not we not hoping it. We're like if it was good, we would have still done this episode for y'all. But it would have been better if it was yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? To us, like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't nah, not bad at all. We saw, but. It's hard, and people and people be like separated from the first one, nigga. It's hard. What you mean? Yeah. Like the first one, you can't. You it, that's like saying, bro, you can't separate uh, that from. It's such a classic that yeah, it's so hard it's like to, separate. to separate that with the head from the shoulders. Yeah. Like, all right, you said, you said right there, nigga, you did. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And, and, I'm, good and I'm not saying it. that you I wasn't saying? able to separate it. That's why I say I had to say, um, if I if I erase the first one. I enjoyed it for what it was. Now, if I say this was supposed to be the sequel to the first one, that is what makes the movie all right. Because if I if, if the first one didn't exist, yeah. I would legit say, okay, I like this movie. Like, I like it. It's, would I watch it twice? Maybe. If the first one didn't exist. But with the first one existing, it's like, hmm, do I want to watch Come to America 1 or Come to America 2? It's going to be Come to America 1 every single time. Like, it's never going to be... Uh, yeah, it's like it's they not put on Captain America, the first one. And and me and you talked about this, like what really bothered us is that the old men in the barbershop, they was like 80 and they was like a thousand <laughs> years old in 88. And the fact that these niggas still alive and everybody still insane, everybody in the movie it's, age it's not really except true. them niggas. It's like except how them. bro. And, and it's like, and I, and I understand, I guess that's the same way like uh, we just said with other professor, how like they better not kill off the grandma because she was the best part. The barbershop, they were one of the funniest, funnier, even though the first one, everything was funny. I ain't gonna fake. But I guess they were just like, come on, we can't kill them off. But it's like, nigga, you just should have just not used the scene. Like, don't go there at all. No, because then, but it's a lose-lose because if you don't go there, People gonna be like, Facts. oh man, that's same thing happened with uh. You know what I'm saying that's why you you shouldn't you shouldn't have just done it. It shouldn't have just yeah, been the second one. Uh, <laughs> Facts with um. You have, yeah, have yeah. you seen Mulan, the new the new one? Yeah, yeah. Well, people no, were killing this one. movie because they didn't have the dragon in this one and blase blase, right? So I I was avoiding. I'm talking about yeah. the dragon Eddie Murphy played. Yeah, in, like in the, the animation, but this is real people in this one. Yeah, you know, this is real people, okay, so the dragon yeah, wasn't yeah. there. But people was killing the movie, so, you know, at first, I'm like, I'm not giving this movie a chance. But one day, me and my wife, we just went, went on, like, a movie rant. And uh, we ended up watching that movie. And that movie, I don't care what nobody say. That movie is legit good, bro. That is a good movie. Check it out. But because of certain stuff wasn't there, people hated it. So I feel like, it, like you just said, it would have been the same thing with this movie. We took away the barbershop. People like, man, how are you going to make this movie about the barbershop? People like us is like, how the hell do you got the barbershop? Them niggas should be dead. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's one of them damned if you do, damned if you don't. Right, right. And I guess they chose, well, I'd rather be damned if I do. I'm going to put them in there. Uh, would, you, would you be down for coming to America Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Nah, I don't man. need it. It's, just, it's unwanted. Like, what's your next storyline going to be, bro? What's your next storyline gonna be? Now you got another son. I, I can't. You got a, a, a nephew can't. trying to fight for power. Yeah, yeah. I got really trying to steal. Uh, <laughs> ask, well, I'm say y'all really trying to steal a uh, Black Panther storyline now. Like, nah, bro. They can they can keep that. I'm I'm okay. And I don't. After the reviews they get from this one, I don't think they're gonna bring another one. I don't think they will. They don't need to any damn way. Excuse me, y'all. If y'all heard me, Bert. Yeah, you right. They don't. Did you hear me? Yeah, this is... No, I hear you chill though. With your loud ass, she need to put some awesome well, good music. Nah, you better hit No, I told ass, you dude. I move a lot. I'm very animated. Uh, 
<laughs> well, you no, better get your right uh, noise. I move, chill. niggas. Straight up, man. And that's, and that's on me, you heard? Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm actually, man. I was multitasking. That's why I keep spinning. Um, <clears throat> what my damn throat? What? What? Nigga, say something. Smack the piss out you. This nigga say spin it. Nigga, right, I'll bro. see you again soon. Yeah, put some butter on that shit, bro. <laughs> they say, put some butter. Look, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Hey, y'all, it, I, you don't hear nothing. Bro, nobody, I don't give a damn that you nothing. sit still like a robot. Man, you I, don't I'm have this mic, Jamar, so it doesn't pick up everything. You have one of those mics that yeah. only pick up your voice. Nigga, you that's just said my mic was good. <laughs> make, make up hey, your mind. You know, make up your I mind. Lied. Shut up. I, I lied, bro. A mic, what? you know why? Because what? I have a mic. That I got another mic, voice. but that hold on more to work on my laptop. But that's the one that I can <laughs> I can change the settings <laughs> to where it only pick up my voice and all this other crap. But it's like if I plug that in, then I can't use my headphone. Oh. It's a look, y'all. We trying to get stuff together. All right. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't do that. My laptop. My laptop has got me through. Yeah, he he got a laptop from the. He got it left Actually, I got it from 2012, man. sir. When I started college. Oh, Actually, it's 12 year difference. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I can't you tell. Think, you think you something now, huh, nigga? Because you just switched over to Apple. You think you somebody you special. right. You still that hey, nigga from the block, cuz. Yeah. With, with a, a proper mic. Shut up. Shut your goddamn mouth up. I really turned up the squeaks. I start spinning, going three sixties in this hole. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> hey, you can't take black. You can't take black. You ain't took me nowhere. I'm still at my house. Well, you can't. Just trying... Hey, y'all. Like I said, y'all on on the any every page. I want y'all to go on this post and tell them, hey man, turn that yeah, shit you know, down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get too much activity. Y'all come post. come talk to me, man. I don't care. I don't care if y'all saying bad stuff or not. I'm kind of oh. bored over there. Oh, you, you, you that nigga with the <laughs> you hear my, ass yeah, I, I see. I see the goddamn chair right there. <laughs> oh, uh, damn. Oh. And for anybody listening, man, um, yeah, like once again, if y'all have not seen the movie and y'all listening, your fault. I warned you. I warned you in the beginning, but go still watch go it. watch it and get your own take of it. And y'all come back and y'all let us know. Cause you know what I'm saying? We could be bugging. We not though, cause it's just our opinion. But <laughs> yeah, I, I was just about to know, say that, could, dog. We could oh, be. You been there? There you go, Ben. There you go, Ben. You gotta be subjective, We not man. bugging y'all, but hey, what? What? Yeah, we not look. If you yeah, haven't that's, seen it, go that's watch. All it. You know what I'm saying? It's, get pop your popcorn, pop your popcorn. Get your family together if y'all want to do all that yeah. and all that other good shit, and go watch it. But um, we just yeah. we keeping it real like we I, always do over here. Yeah, it, it, it ain't it, all it. Not, and I'm not saying it's not worth the watch. It's at least worth worth the first watch. And and, and yeah. I advise y'all to watch it all the way through because I ain't gonna lie, the first maybe fifteen whatever the the beginning of the movie is kind of hard to get past because that's where a lot of the corniness comes in early. But it get, it does get better. <laughs> it does get a little better. Um. I also, what I was about to say. Oh, side note, man, I want. I need for Hollywood to give my boy Wesley Snipes another chance. Because, yes, somebody bro, he the time he's playing these side characters. This is the second time he played a side character, Eddie Murphy. Uh, he also was a side character in Dolomite. And he's always done phenomenal. Even as a side character, he demands your attention. If he's on that screen, your eyes are on him and you try to see what he's about to do next. But I need him another lead role. Because, yeah, he's older, but he's still in good shape. Uh, if you can have Liam Nielsen, I think that's a nigga mm-hmm. name. Ain't that the nigga from Taken? I'm talking about uh Sp- no 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 not Michael Jackson. Like, um, Taken the movie Taken with oh, the I'm old sure. white man. If you could have this yeah, old nigga still beat you. people up and yeah, all that, yeah. you could dance sure have Wesley Snipes who actually knows mixed martial arts. You could have him out here still whooping people. Put my boy in the action movie. Would would, would you, you want to see another blade? You just can't because he's too old. Because remember, Blade was a vampire. Vampires ain't supposed to age. Man, I hate CGI, CGI, bro. Bro, I hate I it. Too, so I ain't gonna lie. You could, you could, you, you, the C- CGI and coming to America too. Like when they was, you, you seen the CGI they did when they was in bro, the Bro, you know, I hated it, but I thought it was hilarious. 
You could tell it what you could but, tell it was. But in the club, moments, though, too, though. it was real until they walked up to the girl. The fake part of it is when they went back to the, the apartment yeah. and slept with the women. That's when you see that CGI got bad. But look, if if you watch it again, if you watch Coming to America 2 again, and when they in the club and when she grabbed when they yeah, when they on the couch and she grabbed them to kiss them. Ed, like Eddie Murphy, yeah. Cassidy, no, that you whole time, that whole time then, they're bro. on the couch. I see his face because it's like his face keep morphing. It's like, yeah, that whole and it's like I knew what Eddie Murphy yeah. looked like. He was young, and certain parts of his face was fat. And it's like, okay, when that nigga was young, that nigga face was skinny as hell. Yeah, like no, but I mean, I, and I, they did a good job yeah. for what it was. I get it, but it's like it was funny to me because I felt like it was supposed to be like that on purpose. So I thought it was funny. I didn't like the lion, but anyway, even on um, you seen Gemini Man? Yeah, like yeah, well, when that type Smith, of CGI, yeah. hell yeah, people killed that's that movie. That was a good movie. But uh, I could deal with that type of CGI because that's the real movie. Will Smith is still right here. You know what I'm saying? So I got I got the purpose of it. But yeah, and, other than the uh, other yeah, than a couple great for the most part, pretty much but to, same, to give me a whole same. blade and it's not even yeah. like a real face, it would annoy the hell out of me. It would annoy the hell out of me. And it's like, and, and then you can't I do it because he's a vampire. Now, you maybe you can figure out some kind of way. Because remember, on, um, with Wolverine, Wolverine wasn't supposed to be aging. And all of a sudden, when that nigga started getting old in real life, they had to make up some kind of excuse to be aging. And it made he sick. And it he made sense. Cool. Something. It's good yeah. enough for me, goddamn. He's sick. Cool. That makes sense. Keep going. But it's going to be kind of, it'll be hard to do that with a damn vampire. A vampire got sick. Yeah, they now they could make they could make something up because then, the fact that yeah. the nigga was wasn't he half human? So yeah, yeah, they I, could yeah, do I think something was, to that. play to that human side, but it would be sort of a stretch. But if they can make it make sense, I I would give it a chance regardless. I ain't gonna fake on y'all. I'm a I'm a watch it. As long as they don't do what the hell yeah, they just did with come to America, don't don't ruin my blade, bro. <laughs> Yeah. But do, do you think Eddie is the uh, goat? Yes. Yeah. A comedic, you talk about comedic acting? Yeah, of comedic acting. I'm yeah, not saying yeah. stand up, uh -huh. but comedic acting. I would have to give it to him for what he's done for comedy, but it's a tight race for me between him and Martin. I know some people wouldn't even make that, wouldn't even put Martin up there, but what Martin has done to me is damn near equivalent if you take away the, um, Take away Come to America and Harlem Nights, I would say they were about even as far as comedic acting. Don't use all of Eddie Mook. Boomerang is a right. classic in its own, but I don't consider Boomerang to be a, a comedy. And Martin. Yeah, he's movie. actually in that movie. So, movie. yeah. And then Life, they both together. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's my, one of my favorite movies of all time. Man, that, hey, hey. I know it's not a way you Hell can Hell no, they was already today, old and go. Like, if you sense. did a sequel, when you could do a remake, but it wouldn't be yeah. with Eddie and Martin. It would have to be two new people. That would, that's, that's a Martin, movie. Yeah, Nobody yeah, ever put them out I, I, yeah, because even with that, the that comedians we have today, some of them are funny, but they would have to be funny and can act. And nah, man, that, that duo was just something magical, bro. Do you do you yeah I, I agree with you. It would have to yeah, be for, for me. Martin. Like I, I, I wasn't a big I, yeah. Chappelle is a legend, but I, I was I honestly I am a big Chappelle, Chappelle fan, fan but I'm a fan of his newer stand-up. But when it comes like I said, the, the what I'm talking about now is just comedic acting, like as far as movies and, and TV. Um Chappelle, in my opinion, no disrespect, but he's not that. He's not that. Not for me, anyway. Once again, this is my opinion. Not for me. He's not. He's not Martin or Eddie Murphy. Right. Nah. But I do love his stand up. I like that type right. of comedy. But when it comes to movies, when it comes to movies, yeah, I, yeah, I, I do too. He, he does, he's not even close. So okay, what sequel would you like to uh, see? Talk Eddie Murphy any at all, or just. Okay, we do Eddie Murphy like, sequels. Yeah, um, yeah. Like a like a oh, classic. Like, like a classic uh, sequel. Uh, we can um, do both. Only comedy yeah, or just yeah, in we general? Can do both. Yeah. Oh, what what's what's what one of the ones I would love to come back? I'm trying to think of storylines that make sense to come back. Um, 
I mean, we talked about the Harlem Knights too, and I know what me and you were talking about before the story that you brought up. It made sense and it would work because of the fact that Harlem Knights back in the day was already filled with so many comedians. So if you threw a bunch of comedians in this one, it wouldn't be bad. But I needed yeah, to be yeah. rated R. I don't want no PG goddamn Harlem Knights. And and it would kind of have to be That's different because it also depends on what the time frame was. But and I don't even need a Harlem Knights too. But if you made another movie that was, yeah, like pretty much built off of that Something idea, new. I would be okay with that. Right. And, you know, still bring Eddie in or whatever y'all want to do, but still that same idea. Give these new guys a chance to really make a name for themselves. So I would be okay with that one. Yeah. Um. Damn, bro. It's kind of tough because, like, man, so many classics, classics that I don't want touched. I this 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 is this is what bothered me, and it's kind of off subject. Yeah, there is. It's our do show, here. So, and we can do what we want. You know what I'm saying? I I the, the way that the, they ended Freddy and yeah. Jason, Freddy versus Jason, so good, and the fact that they never Thanks. gave us a sequel. Now that's that that was hard, and I just knew more was coming. Cause remember, they were supposed to have uh, they were supposed to start doing uh, what exactly. Leprechaun versus Chuck, like all kind of different things. Hell no, I didn't uh, want to. That would be I'll a match. Like that's not even a good battle. That. I First love, of all, I'm, I'm saying I'm, is, I'm, uh, no, nobody saying. should go against uh, I'm, Leprechaun. I'll be real with you. Nobody, nobody well, Chuck is smashed by each, smashed, each one. Like, he doesn't have a chance versus any of them. Yeah. Not even Michael Myers, apparently, because even though he's yeah. a, alive, he's not alive. Because nigga don't never die. How you a regular human, you don't never die. Yeah. But yeah, that Freddy versus Jason, yeah. that definitely should have had a part two. And I would, I'm about to, we need to send some emails in. They need to come back. Like ASAP. I'm really, bro, I forgot about that movie for real, for real. Yeah, but yeah, that, that one, uh, that was a good, uh, that was a good ending. But yeah, bro, tell them, uh, oh, tell them damn, boy, you shut me down. Media, what you got going? Oh, my God. Y'all hear yeah. this nigga, man? We ain't even hit an hour yet. This nigga shutting it down, y'all. Hey, y'all, man, nigga, we, we had 46 oh, minutes and 23 like, oh. seconds. You mean, y'all get. Y'all get on this man here, boy. You, I don't know what he got to do, but he, he trying to shut the episode down. Y'all, he said he ain't got me. an hour for y'all niggas today. Hey, that that is disrespectful. Man, don't, don't, hey, y'all. Yeah, don't nah, get on him. Shot, he, he's sensitive, y'all. He's sensitive. No. Nah, Told y'all. Nah, I'm going to block you, ass. But uh, before <laughs> I get to where you can find me, um, just reiterate, uh, y'all go check it out. Get y'all own opinion in the movie. And y'all come back to us. Let us know um, if you are watching us on YouTube. If you listen to us on anything, subscribe to whatever platform you're listening to. And if you're really feeling nice, go subscribe on other platforms too. Um, once again, visuals will be coming soon. I know we said it. I think the last three uh, episodes, but visuals will be coming soon. Like I said, we just trying. We, we, we trying just to trying get to do together, it right. Y'all. We, we trying, trying to, to come with some some BS. Um, you know, even when we come out, y'all might still think it's BS. But damn it, we got to start somewhere. Um, but y'all be on the lookout for that. <laughs> hey, that's it's big fact. That's the so that's if y'all the listening truth, to bro. us on Spotify, on um, Google Podcasts, Apple, or any other platform, y'all make y'all way over there to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so y'all can be up to date and y'all can actually get those visuals because they are coming soon. Um, but y'all can find me on Instagram at any underscore the letter N underscore every official um i will have the link in fact i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all real go to youtube and y'all we're gonna have the link in the description and y'all can find everything when i tell you y'all gonna be able to find everything everything like y'all ain't gonna have to hunt we did all the hard work okay. for y'all we did that for y'all because we love y'all you feel well, yeah. Yeah, man yeah man oh uh, yeah bro we we wherever yeah. you find your uh, podcast we on go Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We everywhere you can find your podcast. Of course, YouTube. Yeah, man. Y'all, pl- yeah, man, man, y'all go to YouTube, man. Stop playing with me, man. Go subscribe, cool. Yeah, bro. We're trying. R- r- yeah, r- do r- that r- for us. Like, they yeah. will help us and a lot. Saying, man, maybe we'll get the visuals up quicker yeah. if y'all saw some damn support. You feel me? <laughs> y'all, y'all, ain't show, y'all ain't showing no love, so it's making yeah. me move a little slower. Yeah. 
Nah, it ain't. Hey, that's facts, it. though. But uh, it is facts. It is somewhat. Because yeah, if not, I felt like y'all really wanted it, maybe I would have sped up the process. But since y'all ain't showing no love, it's hard for me to show love back. I told y'all earlier, I, I'm petty. I'm very petty. I, I, I give what I get. So y'all go show some love. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, hey. share, like. I know some of y'all be watching, but y'all be – Y'all just watch and then get off. Like, no, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. God damn it. To it, hit the light. It's a, it, That's it, what it, I'm take, saying, bro. Take Everything I just second. said. You know what I'm saying? Can take, you can do all of those things in less than 15 seconds. But, man, uh, yeah. Shout out yeah, to you Eddie. Tried, Murphy, you tried, my boy. You tried. You know what I'm saying? Eddie, 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 we love you, dog. You know what I'm saying? But, nah. We, we 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 it was a it was a it was a good movie. <laughs> See, no, bro, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's a backhanded compliment. It was a good I, movie, I guess. Like, come on, now you can't do that. It is. Boy, it, that's disrespectful. Why the hell I can't? I just did. It is though. No, it's not. I D- Darion disrespectful saying man, the movie was trash. You made us wait thirty I, minutes. I feel, for like, this I feel shit. like that's, that's what disrespectful. You really yeah, <laughs> me, 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 you gonna talk? <laughs> me, you gonna t- no, me, you gonna talk, man? That's funny, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, follow us on uh, follow. <laughs> Subway. I ain't say that. Subway. I ain't say. Me, 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 I and hear me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you gonna talk, man? Nah, side, nah. Man. Whatever off, you can say to me, rig- you can say to them. Rig- we family. Off the rig- <laughs> man, we go- Eddie, get this bad. I mean, you about to talk bad about you? I'm telling on. Uh, Eddie maybe, Eddie maybe, Eddie maybe one day though, bro. Maybe one day. Keep up alive. Keep up alive. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, but like, yeah, bro. But yeah, of course, follow us on Instagram at eighties, nineties, and two thousand eighties, nineties, and zero zero vibes. People always ask ask me, man, why you why you guys God why you don't got two thousands? That's what it is. Eighties, eight, eight. <laughs> Eight eight zero nine zero zero. I really want the yeah, full. You get what I'm answer. saying? Do y'all want right. us to put uh 1980, 1990, and two thousand? Like, do y'all need the full number? Like, goddamn, we all Exa- get it exactly. So we're Already. not doing it. The name is long enough, y'all. So eighties, nineties, and zero zero vibes on Instagram. Eighties, nineties, and zero zero vibes on TikTok. 80s, 90s, and 00 vibes oh, really? on Facebook and YouTube, y'all. And like I said, like Darion said, we got more content coming. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just got to yeah, bail with us home. Sure, sure. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. It's, it's, gonna me, be worth it. It's, only, it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, this has been episode nine. Coming, Darion and Jamal reaction. Whatever y'all want to call it. Two, I, I guess. Hear it. And, man, that's a wrap. Yeah.